W. Boo. Which not only did not do a good job, it, it, it started all this, uh, what is it, NSA spying, you think? Are they in charge of that? Or they is that are F involved in it. Or is that the FBI that's in charge of this? NSA, National Security Administration. And they, they're working with the FBI? Well, ever since George W. Bush and our failure to work with an FBI and CIA and etc. to see the hijackers in 911, <clears throat> yeah, they're all supposed to be working together today. It didn't stop the Boston bombers. It didn't stop the underwear bomber in Detroit. It didn't stop anything because the it's not bomber, there yeah. to stop anything. It's there to spend our money. But heaven forbid the, poor, heaven the forbid. poor should need more yes. food stamps. Oh, oh, oh. Vet veterans and their families should need more food stamps. Uh, uh, people on welfare should, uh, heaven forbid, they should need more than $140 a, a month. How despicable that is under this big fat piece, uh, windbag piece of shit, Chris Christie. Go Barbara Buono. This November 2013. What is it? November 5th? I have no idea. Two, it's early November. And it's it, supposed to be. Our election day. I think it's supposed to be the first Tuesday. Something like the that. The first Tuesday of the month. I believe so, but I don't know. I, I hear different talk. Well, Barbara Bono better, better, better fight tough and 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 blow her mouth her and blow her mouth off at Christie. If she ever thinks she's going to go up against Chris Christie. She is being out cold two to one. Of course, she's not going to the media shooting her mouth off. She's letting Christie do it. She's, a, a, you know, women in politics, they got, they don't have the gumption. They're, they're, they're like, they're too passive. Like, you know, those passive namby-pamby uh, uh, liberals that don't want to, don't, don't, don't want to like make any judgment calls or don't want to uh, uh, call people what hey, they really are. Margaret Thatcher. Please was like anything. me. Please like me. Oh. Margaret Thatcher was anything but a pansy. Yeah, but and she, look how she ruined Britain. Margaret Thatcher is a conservative. Well, that's what I'm she saying. She was buddies with the Bushes. Well, no, I'm talking about pansy ass. Buddies with Ronald I'm Reagan. I'm talking about pansy ass Democrats that don't have a backbone. But you said women. That's a general statement. I'm saying women in the Democratic Party don't have the gumption to win, oh. to win and get their agenda into place because, because Margaret Thatcher screwed up the economy real good. Nancy Pelosi was a was a wimp when she was a, the speaker, right? When she was in Washington. She, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know... Even, even even Bernie Sanders is too kind to the Republicans. All I know... You can't win against them unless you get tough. Evil people get lots of support. That's all I know. Expose, 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 expose. Even exposed. Barbara Bono have support. needs to grow a backbone. Well, even, even Christine Todd Whitman was very wimpy in her elections. You never heard her raise her voice or, or swing she her hands around. She also destroyed New Jersey. <sighs> she, yeah, she tried to privatize the division of motor vehicles and it didn't work. So much she for private. She gave the rich a 30% tax cut. She jacked up the property taxes, right? And, of course, we had to pay those taxes for them. Well, Christie's worse. See? She was a woman. The yeah. national budget oh boy, oh boy. is no different from state, city, and town budgets. A simple across-the-board reduction in spending of 2% will not cripple any department or national defense. A salary reduction of 2% for the average person would be a nuisance, but not necessarily painful. Did you hear him say that for the, for the uh, uh, average person? Why didn't he say that for the rich? It's like because a two percent reduction, a ten percent reduction, a fifty percent reduction ain't 
going to be a problem for them. It seems that it? it seems that it's a taboo subject when it comes to the rich paying taxes that the media always avoids that. Everything has to Bingo. be for the average, for the middle class, lower middle class. Everything is based on the mainstream this, the mainstream that. That's how they make you pity the billionaires. Pity them? Yeah. Shed tears pity for the billionaires. <laughs> what a joke. Similarly, pity a deportment them. with a budget of $100,000 reduced by 2% would still have $98,000 for operations. That is only $2,000 less for spending. Again, it's a nuisance, but not painful. Extrapolate that to the multi-trillion dollar budget the President and Congress want, and the overall savings to us is in the millions of dollars, dollars Americans need. Congress should get real and look at what it has created that is costly and inefficient fund our necessities and then take a better look at what America needs. Compromise your ideals and perhaps huh? a united Congress can bring our country to a better place. I'm against that. I hate that word. No. Economically. No. Socially and globally. No. Fuck him. You can't compromise with the enemy. You can't compromise with evil. You cannot, co you should not compromise with conservatives. And we should not negotiate with terrorists. You, well, you can, or criminals. Because that's what they are at holding yes. the debt ceiling. This is the, the problem. This terrorists. is one of the problems. This is the, the root problem of Democrats today is they want to be liked. They don't want to be l labeled a a as anything negative. They want the Republicans to like them. Even, uh, uh, um, what's his name, uh, Barack Obama wants to compromise. Uh, 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 Nancy Pelosi, when she used to be in, used to talk about bipartisanship compromising. The people that vote for a Democrat want drastic change, radical change. They don't vote... Unfortunately, no. They, they don't vote for a Democrat for compromising with the right wing. Unfortunately, Democrats do not are not Democrats anymore. It's as simple as that. So their compromise really means, deep down, I'm a corporatist just like the Republicans. Right. And I am saying these things because the fat cats are giving me money. Moolah. Yep. And I'm a crooked, yep. piece of shit, two-party system sleazebag. Like the rest of them. Thank you. Wake up, America. Thank you for joining us. For progressive discussions, it has been a very, how should I say, invigorating, as extra, Willie said. Extra. No, Willie I'm, the, said, I'm the one that coined the word invigorating. He just repeated it. Very. Well, in, my I originated goodness. invigoration. When? When? I always use the word invigorating. Always, always use the word. From way back in in my shows. Invigorating show, and you heard it from. James P. Madonna, you yeah, can Mr. take that to the bank. Mr. Invigorate. No, if you got Mr. Invigorate, and if you take, and listen, if you take that to the bank, make sure it's a a, a uh, federal credit union or. Yeah, don't pay any fee at the ATM. Yeah, don't don't go to no. Hey, by the way, no big ass bank. Do you know if uh, people on welfare who uh, uh, get the finances do they have to pay a fee at the ATM? If you use an ATM of a different. If you stick to the same bank, you don't pay. You don't pay the fee. Like, um, boy, that would really be. Uh, like, like for instance, with uh, Bank of America, who probably has more ATMs. Yes. Than in the United States. The than anybody else. They, um, you don't pay a fee if you have your money in Bank of America. Okay. So you can use any ATM. Now the ATM is uh, um, updated, where. You you don't you don't need a um, deposit slip anymore. Uh, you can deposit checks and cash by just putting it into the ATM, and right before your eyes, if, if you have to put the cash and the check in the right way, you can't just st like a cre like a debit card. You can't just stick it in any way. But when it goes in, it counts it, 100% accuracy. Yeah, Chase now has the thing. The, the, no no slips. You can send the picture. 
of your check. Yeah, well, it does. It takes a picture of your check. Mm -hmm. it, it, when you put the checks in the ATM, the the check number has to be on the left side, uh, uh, facing close to you. Like, like here's yeah, okay. the, the, the you have the routing number, you have the account number, and then there's a a, a was it three digit? There's a check number. Okay. All right, you put them in. It takes a photo of it and the the correct amount on let's say you got five checks going in mm -hmm. it goes right in boom it appears you you verify yes that is the check amount continue deposit or cash whatever well <coughs> whatever let's say deposit and it, it's right in there and you don't have to fill out a, uh, a deposit slip which is convenient okay. but also it kind of I don't know whose convenience it's for people lose jobs in the bank the, the better the ATM gets, the less the less tellers that, it. That too, but what about the fact that in the old days, the bank gave back your checks so that you could reconcile them with your finances and etc.? No, but they, for their convenience, they don't do that anymore. No, you know what they tell you? If you want to get... If you Go want online. To get, if you want to get your, uh, your checks, your cash or deposited checks or your bank statement you have to pay that nine dollar monthly you have to pay the fee no I mean if you need a copy they tell you to go online and get the copy and and, and print it out yourself but it, but you can walk in the bank up to a teller and say I need a statement with the pictures of my check and if, you, you, if you don't if you don't well no they don't charge you they I think you have to there's some kind of service fee that that is deducted from your checking account. Well, that's paying. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, if you oh. if you need, let's say you need proof for for Social Security Administration or or welfare or something, and you want to get a, a statement of your of your uh, uh, a checking account statement that shows your activity. They want to see your balances. Yeah. You you can go to a teller and, and they'll print it out because damn, if you have your own printer. The, 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 the inkjet cartridge costs much more than the printer itself. It's mm -hmm. expensive. And so it's actually cheaper to go uh, walk into the bank or Staples and, and you know and get something printed. You don't use don't use yours. Or However, the problem is all it's all done for the convenience of the corporation, not you. Yeah, well, the bottom. In the old days, the reason they used to give you green stamps to come in. Yeah, but they they advertise. Hey, buy some gas, man. We'll give you some stamps. Bank of America, as well as other companies, advertise that the new, updated, upgraded ATM machines are done for your convenience. Well, they're not. We care so much about our customers. When in reality, it is to eliminate the need for tellers to provide jobs. The more people use the robotics so to speak the computerized teller the the new ATM the less tellers they have to hire which means there's more people on unemployment mm -hmm. or but, but they don't tell you that in the commercial or more jobs in Bangladesh well that's where the that's where they want all the jobs to be yeah uh, mainland China yeah, ba Bangladesh, Bangladesh Singapore Singapore India well I don't know Singapore is a is a ritzy uh, expensive yeah. expensive city like Tokyo is yeah, too yeah. yeah anyway say so long to these people so long people